Squarespace Etsy integration. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can connect your Squarespace within your Etsy store. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to create and log in into your account within Squarespace. It is very easy and very simple. Now, we have everything set and our account is ready. So we are going to visit the account dashboard. A little disclaimer guys, everything created in this video, such as email addresses, phone numbers and accounts are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. Right here, we are on the dashboard of the websites. As you can see, we have a lot of websites. So we are going to select the website that we are going to integrate our Etsy store within this. So. If you don't have a website, you are going to click on create website and use one of the templates that are available within your Squarespace account. Right here, everything is set and our website is ready. So the first thing we are going to do is to click on website. Now everything is set and the website will load up. In the meanwhile, we are going to visit Etsy and then we are going to create an account within Etsy or sign in for our account as you can see this is our account and we have a store in my case i will go ahead and sign in and then we are going to set everything for the product and etc unfortunately i didn't finish my setup of the account but i have my account set and the uh, products are ready so we are going back right there into the Squarespace and the first thing that we are going to do or we must do is to click on pages. And now we have the main pages or the main navigation. The pages are already shown right there. So we are going to add a page specific to the selling. So simply go ahead and click on the plus button and right there we are going to select store you have to add a store within your website in squarespace so simply go ahead and click on store and it will install a store into your website so here we have either a empty as you can see here empty header or empty page or you can go ahead and set at this uh, store with that header and also with some product I like to keep this, uh, everything simple. So I am going to click on this one, which contain all of these products. Now we are going to set, we are going to name it, for example, Etsy, like that store. And simply we are going to visit that. Here you are going to click on the arrow right there to visit that store. And everything is set. You can see here the the preset products, these are just for demonstration to not let everything right here empty and blank. So you can go ahead and click on right here the plus sign. Click on the plus sign and here we have the, um, the options to set and sell the products or add the product. For example, you can go ahead and click on physical product and here it will let you uh, right there create the product from scratch unfortunately the update or the last update that happened to squarespace has uh, modified or also has deleted the option to import from etsy it was a little button right here when you click on the plus sign it was right here import from etsy but unfortunately they have removed that with the recent update so we have to add the products manually. In Etsy, we have two options or two categories of the product. We have the digital products, as you can see, like I have created, this is a digital product for Canva templates and also an ebook, for example. As you can see, it is mentioned that it is uh, digital or we have some physical products like the print on demand, like I have created right here using Printify. Now, Let's go ahead and add that product manually. So we are going to choose one of these products. For example, let's go ahead and select that ebook. So we are going to click on the ebook and we are going to start copying the title. 
go back right there and select for example we have it as a digital product so we are going to click on download and here's the product name we are going to right here set the product name for the title for the photo you are going to select that photo you can go ahead and copy or save that image again if you don't have it anymore in your computer so we are going to set it right here click on image upload right here and i'm going to set right there all files make sure to uh, make the right format for that image so because here i have only the web page format so we are going to uh, transform uh, this image to uh, png or something like that now for the description go ahead right there within the uh, product right here and copy and paste that description for example like that i'm going to copy it make it right here and here we have it make it a ball if you want or let it right it is you can add some additional information for example the product page and uh, a lot you can go ahead and use some product uh, uh, blocks and etc i am going to skip that step now for the inventory we are going to download the file or that ebook for example i am going to set anything right here and consider that it is the ebook and it is set as the pdf file originally the uh, the ebooks are set to pdf so they are downloadable as pdf files now for the price you're going to set your price right here for example how much did i set it right here let's go ahead and see it is a 59.99 like that 9.99 you can put it on sale if you want to set a uh, a price right here and put it like that and here we have the organization you can add a category to it for example add a category ebook i'm going to set ebook like that you can add that category even if it didn't exist or doesn't exist here we have the tags and the keywords you can go ahead and set the tags and keywords that you have set on etsy or you can change them for example ebook i'm going to set that here self development development like that and etc you can add whatever you want from tags here we have the selling tools we have the product add-ons you can add some add-ons you can add a featured product right here here featured products can be displayed in summary blocks in on your page this is very important to set some featured products and also you can go ahead and set some related products you are going to set whatever you want here it will let you see the uh, product from the tags so make sure to set everything and you can also make some product reviews show customers reviews directly on all product pages manage this feature in selling now we have here the marketing we have the seo and url customize the url that you are going to set for that product and also you can go ahead and set the seo which is the search engine optimization to make that product a uh, website or search engine friendly so you will attract more customers and more visitors with the keywords and everything now the final steps uh, right here is the checkout you can go ahead and custom uh, or set a custom form on the checkout or set a custom button for example you can enable custom label and make that label to add to cart for example and put a custom form like that here we have a no form required or create a no new form right here we have the add form field and here we have everything set you can add a text area or a text drop down menu checkbox uh, write your website email and currency for example let's go ahead and add a currency and put the price like that you can add a description and here you can go ahead and set it as required and save it that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one